All right, I want to make a video on this piece all on its own. This is the intermediate gear uh, that I was trying to get out. Uh, and what I do after I got it out, I wanted to, I don't know if it's really directional or if it matters. It's got a uh, bearing on this side and a bearing right there. Uh, may not matter what direction it's in, but I want to be on the safe side. And what I did after I got it out, I cleaned off all the transmission fluid, just took a little paint pen like so, and just wrote the word out so that that way I know which one uh, went towards the outside of the transmission. may not make a difference, but I like to be on the safe side. I could probably just use a Sharpie or something to get it done. But anyway, back over to the transmission. This is the, this is the gear where I was having the problem right here, trying to get this piece out. And I thought this was a plate, um, a little hard to tell. Uh, what it was I thought maybe I had to stick a screwdriver or something in it and pop it out I couldn't tell uh, but what I did uh, if you can get a little 90 degree pick like so or something with a 90 degree that's long enough and what you do you stick it in there and where you catch it on the back side and you pull that you pull that out okay now it's pretty tight tolerances so let me see if I can get it in there uh, yep there it goes so and if you notice there's a little that little shim there uh, that goes one uh, goes on this side of the transmission when you put it back together it's got a little tab uh, if you can see it sorry I'm not trying to spend all day on it but that little tab right there right hold on let me get there if you can see that little tab right there that piece right there it just goes right in here when you're putting it back together uh, on the inside portion of the transmission so just so that you know and I'm just putting it back in there uh, just so nothing falls out and I'm gonna put the bolt back in it just to retain everything uh, and now I can work on getting this piece out right here but I want to make a video on that all on its own because if you don't know to grab something from the back side of it um, you know and you think that's a plate you'll be there all day long trying to figure out how to get a sucker out but um, either that or you could probably put a screw in or a bolt in right here um, basically like I did up up top and maybe get it out that way that's just one other option but just be careful doing that so you don't mess up those threads but anyway moving along